Okay, hopefully that will work. Uh, woo! Okay. Eep, eep. Hopefully you see. Well, okay. Let me connect to the other one. Oh, I forgot to send it. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Oh, okay. sorry. I will have just a second. I'm, I'm right here. Just one moment. <laughs> one moment. I'm coming back. <laughs> I think that we're okay. <laughs> You're looking at my big bag. Okay. So here we go. People who are here, they're here. If not, not, and it's fine. Okay, are we okay now? I think that it stopped. Do you hear me now? Yay! All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm so grateful. So let's go like this. Do you see the dough? I see it in my viewfinder, but I'm wondering if you see it too. And do you prefer vertical or horizontal? All right, yes. So horizontal or vertical for the view? Do you prefer like this or like this? Like this? Horizontal, okay. So like this, okay. This is horizontal, hopefully. Yay, you see the dough, okay. And no more loop, amazing! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So, hello everyone, so I'm gonna try to follow. I'm just so excited. We're all here today. We're a small group, but I'm so grateful. So good to see you too, Elise and Claudia and Jessica. Hello from West Virginia. Oh, it shows vertical on the screen. So should I go like this? Is that better? Vertical. Okay, guys, you have to tell me which one do you prefer? Thank you, Susan. South Africa, Europe. Whoop, whoop. Better. Okay, so I'm staying like this. Bear with me. <laughs> it's been a long time. I haven't done this. <laughs> but it's going to be funny. You're going to hear my nervous laugh all the time. Okay. Okie dokie. Yep, yep, it's better. Leave it this way. Perfect. It is there. Very good. So, very good. So, I made khala today. As you can see, it's my little mushroom. Um, it is with uh, 2.5 kilogram or Northern Ireland, Brazil. Ay, wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. Shalom, shalom, manishma. So this is my dough. And I made, like I just said, it is um, uh, 50, uh, I'm sorry, five uh, pounds or 2.5 kilograms. So the first thing I'm going to do is that I am going to um, take khala or do a frashat khala. So let me tell, let, uh, if you want for me to pray for you, if you have something special, maybe you need healing or find somebody in your life or need success, please let me know in the comments. I will try to read them. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, entreprise baby. <laughs> so if you, 
at your shotgun. I hope everything is okay with you. There's an MC bus. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you for being here. My dad has Alzheimer. So, Yehoshua Cohen, Refua Shalema for your dad, Bezrat Hashem. Shalom. Thank you. Thank you. My sister and more have pneumonia. Oh no, Claudia. Refua Shalema for Claudia and her sister, Bezrat Hashem for um, healing for Stephanie. So Daniel, then Stephanie for Refua um, Shalema, for him to feel better and to have a complete recovery. And our, our sweet Azure Blue for guidance, Bezrat Hashem. Hola, como estas, Marion? <laughs> Beautiful. Bezrat Hashem for Vanessa Zivug, a good partner in life. Beautiful. And here, ay, ay, ay. So for Marie Belle, a complete refoua shelema for her to feel better. Thank you, Christina. For Sunny, for your leg to get stronger. For Scott, for him to also feel better. Ay, ay, ay. For Snowflake, for your answer, um, I've made Chala every week for the past almost 17 years, thank God. So, you do the math. <laughs> oh no, Amy, I hope that uh, you feel better and that you have a complete uh, recovery from your car accident. Uh, Eloa, you're going to make bread. Don't worry about it. Bizrat Hashem for Leti, a good job with a good salary and everything that you're looking for. A good husband for Jessica, Bizrat Hashem. Bizrat Hashem Abigail, just good people, good light in your life, Bizrat Hashem. For Isabel to have good results and everything to be perfect, God willing. Mm. For Pamela, a complete recovery for uh, once that she has the surgery and everything should go well and that the surgeon should be guided in, in his hands how he proceeds, he or she proceeds to have uh, just the uh, best results. Bezrat Hashem. Bezrat Hashem for Chanel to have a, a Zivug Rishon, a good man for her. Bezrat Hashem. And for Karine, for your friend to have a good surgery. Very good. So I'm, oh, a few more. Can you pray? For, yes. Oh, for Christina, what is the name of your, of your colleague who lost her son? Ay, ay, ay. This is so hard to hear. You would think that because, you know, I'm a healthcare provider, these kind of things, I would be used to it. It always breaks my heart. Angela is her name. Thank you, Christina. So for Angela, Bizrat Hashem, that she be supported in her grieving of her son. And may she only have support from above and may she be consoled among the mourners. Ay, ay, ay. Yes, Alice, for you to go back to work from maternity leave, that your position is amazing and that you're happy. Very good. So I'm going to do a Chashat Chala. So this is what we do. This is in commemoration of what the Kohen Gadol used to do in the temple, which is to take a piece of Chala. I should say, I'm sorry, this is you, what we used to do to give to the Kohen, uh, which are the priests in the in the temple and we use to whatever dough that we have that is more than a certain weight it depends on the opinion we go with the 1.6666 kilogram or about four pounds once that you reach the four pounds then it's going to be uh, you have to take a frashat chala and this piece is going to be for us going to be taken and burned uh, for passover when we burn all our chametz or our uh, our um, leaven products so what I do is that I just take a small piece like that and I'm going to do the blessing. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam asher kidesha'anu b'mizvotav etzivanu le'afrish chala atechuma. Are zo chala. 
So now the dough, I can use it to bake and cook, and I, to bake, I should say, and the piece of challah, again, I'm gonna put it aside in the freezer. And it's, again, going to be burnt, and if you're wondering how many this is, my already since um, last Pesach, this is my third bag. So, as you can see, quite a bit. <laughs> and only uh, girls above 12 or boys over 13 can do this, uh, this uh, mitzvah, this commandment. Beautiful. So now let's go into the challah portion. I always like to do this part with you. This way, if you have a prayer or anything like that, I, or a need of something, I'm always happy to, to try to help. <laughs> so now I take my dough and I'm gonna put it aside. I'm just gonna try to perhaps have this connected. Oui. Just one second. Okay, let me just try. La, sorry if I'm moving. I'm trying to find a way that you hear me the best way possible. I wish I could hear you. <gasps> oh, <man. laughs> what orientation is locked? Rotate the face back. You definitely fell in the chala. <laughs> oh no, I don't know how how to change the orientation. Do you see? <laughs> this is what happens when you try to do too many things at once. Okay. Are we okay? <laughs> <laughs> you did you did fall in the dough <laughs> okay <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> we got it there. yes absolutely ah yeah, yeah yeah i am telling you this is <laughs> ridiculous Sarah. <laughs> uh, but that is so me so so me okay so here we go so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to roll my uh, balls of challah. I like to take 120 grams. It seems to be my sweet spot. Um, very good. So 124 is fine. If you have a question, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> you know, some people, they fake the way they are online. For me, what you see is what you get. <laughs> I'm clumsy in the kitchen. Thank God I'm not so clumsy in the medical world, but I am definitely clumsy at home. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly, Kelly. It's my grace and poise that I have genetically passed to my daughters. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Thank God not to my son. So he's our son, should I say. So, <laughs> oh, yeah. thank you, Lydia. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm just uh, doing my balls of dome and just rolling them. And I am going to put them just on the side under a plastic to be able to uh, to just uh, let them rise a few, a few seconds. And these are my reusable plastic bags that you've seen a thousand times. And I do reuse them and they are chemically chemical free. I used to use the regular one and then I change for the chemical free. <laughs> you save the clumsy for home. Absolutely, Isabel. That is exactly what I do. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh yes, absolutely, Abigail. In my kitchen, there's a lot of love and laughter, that's for sure. And I laugh at me all the time. Oops, tupti. <laughs> Thank you, Joshua. See, again, some people, they're like, they would be so, I am embarrassed. It's true. I'm embarrassed a little bit that you fell in the challah. But listen, I'm sure you, you never experienced that before. <laughs> to fall in the challah, though. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. 
Oh, yay, I'm happy that you laughed with me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. My mom made challah a couple of weeks ago and it was so yummy. Good, Elias. I'm happy that she did. Do you have a like a, a recipe, a family recipe, Elias, that you've been using? <laughs> Become one with the challah, feel the challah, be the challah. Absolutely, Kelly. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> amen, Shoshi. Absolutely. May God answer all your prayers. So what I'm doing again is just taking 120 uh, 20 grams of khala and I'm making them into a ball. And the reason why is that, first of all, I'm increasing the, ten, uh, the surface tension so it will rise better. And also, I am uh, just going to leave them rise a little bit more in the bag. And that will just continue for the gluten to be activated. Ay, 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 good. Beautiful. Thank you, Heather. No judgment. <laughs> Very good. If you have any questions, please, if you, it's a question, personal question, I'm all for it. <laughs> well, I'm happy, Ronan, that you, you also could laugh about it post facto. <laughs> No, for sure, Amy. You know what? Again, my goal is not to pretend I'm somebody else. What you see is what you get. I am uh, I am clumsy in the kitchen. My children also know it very well. But I teach them also to laugh when that happens and not to be stuck in their head. Like, eh, you know, God wanted for you to fall. It was a good way to humble you. <laughs> I think there's an expression in English. It's like a piece of humble pie. I love that expression. Is that an expression? <laughs> Thank you, Shishi. Is that an expression? A piece of humble pie? No, it's me. I made it up. Yes, 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 it is. All right. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering what is that, remember when I told you that I burnt myself while doing the... Um, coffee video well that's it this is the remnant it's so much better my hand was covered at first degree but here was second and second deep so this is what you're seeing so I'm sorry ouch yeah <laughs> well, yeah absolutely as your blue we have to laugh at ourselves because otherwise it means that we're taking ourselves way too seriously that's for sure okay <laughs> <laughs> Fenech, I love your story. Thank you. <laughs> if I don't answer your question, it's not that because I'm not, a, I'm ignoring you. Please, please send it again, like copy and paste it. I'm sorry, I don't see all the question because of course, if I look at the screen, I won't be able <laughs> to look at the, and if you're wondering what it is, it's chocolate because this is my pastry board. So when I do chocolate and things like that, I use it. So this is why you have chocolate, but you know what? Chocolate and hala amazing mix yeah <laughs> laughing crying idiot at this point <laughs> very good ay, ay, ay. okay mm, for sure of course ls god meant for that to happen for sure you're 100 percent right maria i'm um, taking hala looking forward to learning yes yeah, sylvia i'm happy you're here and I'm, I knew that not a lot of people would show up because obviously it's last minute. But I, you know what? God made that I was able, that YouTube was able to at least open the live. So I'm very, very grateful. And I wanted to show my appreciation and do something right away. Does that mean we're all blessed? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, yay. Thank you, Frida, for being here from Kenya. I don't know if I ever told you that, guys, but I worked with Médecins Sans Frontières and other NGOs, um, and uh, I went and I lived in West Africa. So I went to Senegal, I went to Ivory Coast, I went, so I, li I lived there, and I helped in these areas. It was the most amazing, amazing 
moments like people have nothing and they're ready to give their clothes off their back to for you to feel welcome and it's unbelievable oh did i go again hello sylvia from central california am i am i gone again oh, oh please work god i want for this to work <laughs> Thank you, Maricela. So if you're wondering, I'm doing ball dough, balls of dough of 120 grams. It, your balls can be any any size you want, but I find that 120 gram is really, it makes um, very consistent and uh, you can shape bread. <laughs> Did you see that? I put my dough on my board instead of my scale. Oh my God. And I was like, oh, it's funny. It's not moving up. <laughs> Seriously, Sarah. Oh. How do Orthodox Jewish people feel about pets inside the home? I saw your video where you fed the bird. Are pets indoors? Uh, no, no. So the issue with pets indoors is that... Bonjour, Christine. Merci beaucoup d'être là, ma chérie. Um, yes. Thank you, Joshua, so much for your kind words. So the issue with animals is that, as you know, animals, they lick their tushy and they lick their private parts. And, you know, they're not the cleanest people ever or people, I shouldn't say people, but creation ever. And so therefore, if they come and they lick you while you're praying, then you can have residual you know what on you and it's an issue obviously to pray with that um so this is why usually in orthodox home you don't have like cats and dogs so people will have turtles or snakes or i i've never heard of anybody with snakes but <laughs> what i saw is fish usually it, fish is is something that you see in orthodox home so that's why it's uh, usually not uh not seen a lot. Hello, how it works for me. Beautiful. A guten tag. Ich liebe, yeah. Very good. <laughs> Thank you, Shashi. Um, oh no. Good. I'm sorry, Alice, that you're having a um, a challenging day. Oh yeah, that didn't work, 234. I'm sure that nobody saw or heard that I just put my dough here and I just waited. So I have no comments on that on the chat. So I'm happy that nobody saw that. <laughs> um, Sarah, I know seven languages. Thank God, I, uh, I'm i a military brat. I, I don't know if it's a, a politically correct uh, term, but my father used to, um, work for the army around the world and he was with nato and he was with uh, all that kind of good stuff and uh this is why uh, and my mom is a linguist so my mom my dad um, they um, speak 11 languages and my sister speak 12. so i'm the black sheep of the family with only seven <laughs> yeah 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 thank you debbie hello Esco from new mexico Hey, I wanted to touch base on something with you guys. You know, a lot, like, thank God, thank God, a lot of company reached out to me and they wanted for me to do a sponsor post for them. And I always refused. And I wanted to, to let you know why. <laughs> it's because I don't want to do something just for the money. I really want to do something that I really, like I want to collaborate with a brand that I really, really love. Um, so <laughs> thank you for loving the black sheep, Claudia. Um, so this is why I had literally, and I'm very blessed and it's not at all like, like to say, oh, I'm so, no, but I refused all of them. And some were very exciting, but the money they were, but I didn't want to. So are you okay with me not like showing anything on the channel or not taking sponsorship? Are you okay with that? <laughs> Beautiful, Sarah. At least one and a half is good. 
No, Rifki, please. Four is amazing. Mine are a little bit similar. I'm almost done. Thank you, Vanessa. Oh, thank you, Alice. Kathy, I wish I would be able to read Arabic, but this is not one of my seven languages. So if you want to translate it, I would absolutely love to. I agree with you, uh, vegan paper, that a lot of time, did I say prepper, not pepper? I guess I'm in the kitchen, I need to eat. But um, I agree with you. A lot of, of channels become just like a, a showcase. So the last one is 285, so I'm going to do just 140 each, and then we're going to be good. 141, 144, good enough for me. Thank you, Karen, to understand that. No, what, the day that I'm going to be collaborating on my channel with something or someone is because it's going to be, which I know will most probably never happen. It would be like um, my favorite sponge. Yeah, the <laughs> sponge daddy, scrub daddy. That would be the only one that I would say yes. And I think that you know why, because I've been in love with the, their sponges forever. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That's for sure, Vanessa. With the day that I do something, it's because I really want, like I'm convinced that it's a, an amazing product. Okay. Amazing. Bonjour, Aisha. Ayash, pardon, j'ai vu Aisha, de Paris. Beautiful. Thank you, Michel. Thank you so much. Mais oui, bien sûr, Christine. Je vais réussir la chala des ratachem. Avec l'aide d'Hachem. Okay, so we're going to start with the first chala. And it's about time, Sarah. So now it, we're going to try three. So the way I, I do my, um, my strand is that I flatten it, I push it down, and then I roll it. This will make a softer outside if you want. It won't be as uh, bumpy. If you choose to have a sponsored post, even a question, I think it would be fine as long as you believe it. Oh, for sure. You know what I've done with the sponsored, like, oh, I'm going to show you what I do. Like, if I just roll it without doing that little extra step, I'm going to show you the difference. Here we go. Do you see the difference? So this is without. Oh, Maricela, thank you, sweetie. Here. This is without just, this is just rolling the ball and this is um, flattening and then rolling. So as you can see, the surface is way softer. Beautiful. Hi, Frankie. Hi, Josebel. Hi, Sarah. Okay. <laughs> that is so true, Elliot. So, so true. A lot of people... They look at money, and I understand. You know, it's a, some people live out of YouTube, so one day maybe. <laughs> Very good. So the first one is going to be the easiest one. Oof! Did I just push you? I'm sorry. Here we go. So what I'm going to do is that once that I have rolled them, I'm going to roll them just one more time. And voila. So they're about the same size. I'm going to put the thinner tip on top. So when I do a three strand, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to leave the top and the bottom free. Why? And I'm going to show you why. So I just cross it over. It's a regular braid. Nothing to write home about. Okay. And I finish one side. And then afterwards, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the other side. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know that I will create less tension when I do that. And my echala, my braid, will be more uh, equal, if that makes sense. Thank you, Psalm 122, sixth. So that is the first one. Now I'm going to take my echala. 
and I'm going to cover it. This is so essential to always cover your, your hala, your balls, everything one by one. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. So the next one, we're going to go, we're going to bump it and we're going to go four. Four. Same thing, because I want my strands to be nicer. I'm going to flatten my, my dough, my ball of dough, and I'm going to roll it once. And I won't push it because now if I push it more, the it's going to break. So I just put it on the side and I do the same thing again. Hi from Alaska, Valérie. Thank you. Thank you for being here. So again, I take my, my dough and I roll it. I don't go too far because if I go too far, I know I'm going to break my dough. My last one, again, it doesn't need to be perfect. If you have more time, please use the rolling pin. Do you have to, and do you invite them for Shabbat? So Margarita, yes, I have a lot of non-Jewish friends. For me, my friends are not limited by, you know, if they're Jewish or not. I have um, friends from all walks of life. And um, yeah, and as per inviting them for Shabbat, a lot of times they don't want to come. <laughs> I think that um, I speak about it so much that they, they are uh, maybe a bit uh, overwhelmed <laughs> by it. Now I'm taking back again the roll that I did the first time, and then I'm going to roll them again. And like magic, the strands are going to spread more, and I'm going to be able to just push them a little bit further and to do, uh, again, a strand. Oh, thank you. Please come, Claudia. Uh, Joshua, how long will these last? Uh, what will last? I'm so sorry, uh, Joshua. I didn't, I most probably did not see the first part of your question. Oh, thank you, Cassandra. You are so welcome to come. <laughs> Very good. So now I have four strands. And I'm just gonna do this one a bit further. I hear you, Lisa. Okay, so now I have four strands. So instead of doing the regular song that my daughters always do, which is second to the top, first in the middle, we're gonna do a different one to just change the design a little bit. So I pinched the top. I'm going to put my first strand next to the first strand on the other side. Then I'm going to take my first strand here next to the first one. And then I twist the middle one again. I take the first one. I go next to the first one. I take the first one on the left. I go next to the other one and then I twist them and then I continue. It's very simple. It just takes a little counting. Okay, and now, here we go. So now, as you can see, this one is fun. Why? Because instead of having a braiding that is inside and out, like we're gonna do, it just has one bump in the middle. Thank you, Cocos. So it's very, very simple and it's just, it's so regular. I really like this one. It's one of my favorites. Usually I do this one with five and I'm going to do it with five and you're going to see the difference in design. Uh, Amy, let me see. If for any reason you're unwell and not able to do it all because I think you're a superwoman. I'm not. It's just Hashem. It's God. Who is able to step in to give Mama a well-deserved break? Well, Amy, good question. Then uh, our best friend would be the caterer. Or um, my girls are able to do simple salads. So that would be something that would be done. Um, very good. So that's good, good, good. Oh, that's a good question, Lisa. I don't know if that would wear, work in the hair. Why not? I, I would guess so. So we did three. 
we did four let's go with five so this one is fun also and again if i didn't answer a question please please and like put it back in the chat i will answer it as soon as i can thank you orthodox guide dog that is a good question and i'm sure because there's a uh, a use for it meaning like it's not only for com like not necessarily for company i wouldn't say that but um because there's um medical if you want really it, it, perhaps perhaps that would be uh, uh, more accepted very good what about okay merci christine yeah so I hear, I see that there's question about gluten-free. So I do have a very good gluten-free recipe and it is made um, and it, I can braid it. So if you want for me to share it with you, please let me know because most of the gluten-free hala are go recipes are going to be with a dough that is so liquid that you have to put it in a mold, which is fine, of course. But if you want to braid it, I have a good recipe for that um how did i keep kosher in africa good question so obviously i didn't eat meat <laughs> because meat has to be um processed in a certain way so that was a no-go for that so i ate fish again fish can be caught as long as it's full with scales that are removable i ate fruit vegetables and potatoes <laughs> Well, which is part of the vegetables, obviously, Sarah. But uh, yeah, it was just a, a more a pescatarian diet. How often do you make challah? Once a week? Uh, usually, Joshua, I make challah uh, once a week, sometimes twice or three times a week, depending on if families need it, if it's uh, Yantiv or it is um, holidays, or um, usually that's that's what I do. For sure, Maureen, I can share the gluten-free. Of course, so, 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 I will, with pleasure. I will, I'll add it, um, hopefully, in the community tab. This way you'll have it. Beautiful. So, Valérie, for, to answer your question, when I, um, dogs in Orthodox Jewish homes or cats are not usually seen because they are not the cleanest, like they are clean, but I mean, they lick themselves in private parts and they're tushy and whatever. And so they have that on their leg, on their tongue, on, their, on themselves. So to pray or to do these kind of things, it's, it's an issue. So usually in Orthodox home, you won't see uh, dogs or cats. You're gonna see fishes, <laughs> fishies. How many hours you sleep at night to stay healthy? What a good question. So I have been focusing a lot more on my sleep because, um, as I told you, I am in my uh, a health journey. <laughs> and so I try to uh, clocking, clock in seven to eight hours of sleep per night. It is a challenge because I want to do so many other things. But um, that's what I'm trying to aim at. <laughs> Oh, uh, thank you, Idris. So we have five strands. Here we go. And now this one, I'm going to do exact. Oh, I'm sorry, I pushed you guys. Don't be seasick. <laughs> Very good. So here we go. So I have size, size, sank, <laughs> or or five, but not. <laughs> That's what you when I'm tired and I speak, and I try to speak too fast. Okay, here we go. Um, I give away a lot of ca of uh, hala, Karen. You're absolutely oh no, Ilya, don't be fast, don't be sick. So I pinch them at the top. So we repeat the same thing that we did with the four. So I take the first one, I put it next to the first one, but this time instead of going all the way out, I'm gonna go just in the middle, and then I twist. First one next to the first one, this one in the middle, I twist. Woo! It's okay. Don't worry about it. First one next to the first one. I take the first one, I put it in the middle, and I twist. Okay. 
So I continue that. And then I am done here. At the end, I just smush everything, I know. <laughs> and this time, the design, instead of being, there you go. So this time, instead of being like the previous one, which just gave a little nudge in the middle, like this, boom, 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 it gives a nice side swoop. It's a, the Donald Trump kala. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe it's not politically correct. I meant nothing bad by it. Please, please don't go. Don't come for me on the com in the comments. I meant that as a joke. <laughs> Thank you, Devora, to be here. No, Goldie, you're perfect. You're you're elegantly late. <laughs> Very good, beautiful. So that is with five, as you can see. It just shows a little twist like that. And this is the same technique with four. And you can see there's a bump in the middle. So it's very, very, I find them very elegant. So now I'm going to do another kind of five. Make Halal great again. Elias, you're killing me. It's so funny. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. You can joke about him anytime you want to. <laughs> I don't want to joke. Nah, I don't like to, to laugh at people. You know what? <laughs> it is what it is. But it's just the side swoop that made me think of him as he is back. So again. Beautiful. What do you do on top? I'm sorry. What do you, what do you top your... Oh, your halal with? Have you ever used everything but bagel? Absolutely. Everything but seasoning is a very good uh, topping choice in our family. So again, I'm making a mess out of the, the ball. I roll it, tuck it, and roll it again. Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Goldie. Oh my goodness. You're so sweet. And please know that whatever money I make on YouTube, uh, which of course is not, you know, a lot, I do give, um, of course, I do my, I give master, which is charity, obviously. And uh, it's not, uh, you know, buy myself a new Lamborghini. <laughs> Why would I buy myself a Lamborghini in, in Canada or in any country? think that we can do much more things with that <laughs> than buying a car. Um, beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go, Goldie. Thank you. I use bagel wash and everything bagel. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah, it is. It goes to charity. And it's not, uh, you know, something perhaps that you don't know is that, yes, I work as a healthcare professional, but I changed, um, if you want, my practice. Like you have a choice when you are an HCP to have a practice that is full, full in-house, full clinical, or you can have a mix of home and clinical. And for the children, I took a, a mix of home and, and clinical. And of course, it makes that um, my pay has been cut drastically but I think that our children are young only once and I wanted to make sure that I could provide the help for them and be there for them and not, you know, for the nanny to, uh, to bring it, to uh, do the chinu bringing up. The giving aspect of Judaism is what really floats my boat. Oh, Theo, that's beautiful. Thank you, Lisa. Zatar is delicious. Absolutely. I love Zatar. And the picture that I put for the thumbnail um, is uh, is actually um, a halad that I made ooh, with zata. Beautiful. Yeah, well, you know, there's two kinds of halad. This one is a halad recipe with eggs, but there's something called water halad. And water halad is a halad, like it says, with only water, flour, sugar, and yeast and salt. 
So some people, they are so concerned that it would be too sweet that it um, that they do water challah. So it's really a, a drier version, but I have a good recipe too, if you want. <laughs> I have like recipes for everything at this point. But our Trader Joe's sells vegan pork rinds. Could this be considered kosher, even its imitation unclean? Yeah, yeah, of course, Stephanie. It's a good question. This is the same way we have fake crab. There's fake bacon, fake whatever. As long as it's it has a, a kosher sign, then you are all good to be able to eat it. Kosher shrimps, kosher pork, chips, seasoned bacon, <laughs> all that kind of good stuff. How did you learn to speak Alsatian? I'm so glad people still speak it. Idris, it's you're gonna laugh. I'm, I'm um, like I told you, I um, I I'm a military brat, and part of my family moved a lot, so we adapted with where we were, <laughs> and therefore Alsatian, German, um, and Yiddish was part of our our um, if you want our location, and part of my family also was living there. So here we go for this one. We're going five. I think that I'm completely crooked. I'm not sure that you're going to see much. <laughs> Here we go. So we go five. This one is one of my favorite, guys. It's so special. It looks so complicated, but it's not. Um, I make water challah in my bread maker. Sure, sure, absolutely, Theo. It's uh, beautiful. I have bacon seasoning. Make anything taste <laughs> like bacon. I was amazed. It had circle U symbol. Yeah, absolutely. Um, beautiful. So here we go. So this one, we're going to go with a, um, a sim five. So I'm going to go here. I do a simple three braid. One, two. And then I have one, two, three. One, two. Oh, I think I messed it up. See, see, see. And yeah, one, two. Perfect. So I come back here and then I do again. I just do a three braid. But I always start with the middle. No, see, I, I made a mistake. Ah, Sarah, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I'm talking and thinking at the same time. <laughs> talking and thinking. Wow, that's too much for me at the same time. <laughs> Please post your water challah. Sure, sure. Maple syrup is good too, definitely. Okay, so here we go with that one. Ooh, my little squid, five-legged squid. So I start again. So I'm going to take the external one, in, out. I go again. I start. In, out. I start again. In, out. I go there. In, out. I go here. In, out. It's a three. It's always a three braid. I start with the outside. In, out. Again, in, out. Here, in, out. Here, in, out. Here again, outside, in, out, outside, in, out. And then for this one, I just tuck it and tuck it. Oh, I see comments. Le, le, le. What happened, Stephanie? Something happened. Oh, here we go. I am coming from fishing town family. I'm always amazed about shellfish being prohibited. They were a staple from our table. I can imagine. Yeah. You know what, Mariana, it's just, um, it depends, you know, also you get used to anything. It's like people who have diabetes and cannot eat as much sugar anymore. You adapt, you know, you adapt. So this is the one I really, really like. It looks like a little weaving basket and it looks so intricate and complicated, but it's really, really not. Thank you, Goldie. I like, I love this one. It's just a regular three one. Oh, yay, I'm happy, Ronan, that it's helpful. So this is one. And you could, if you want to, like, for Rosh Hashanah, what I would do is that I would take it and make a ball out of it. And look at this. It looks like a mini basket. I absolutely love that. Beautiful. Oh, no. He's sick. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're wondering what I'm doing with them every time, I just put them on a baking sheet. Sheet, <laughs> sorry, and I put them. So this is 
the same technique. Once again, this is four braid, four braid this or four strand. This is five. This is three, and this is five again. So it's uh, again, you can have a lot of fun. Just gonna put it on the other side. Sorry for the paper, and usually I do use my silicone mat, but they were dirty and I just didn't have time to wash them. So I'm sorry. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Shula. <laughs> Bread and beard, all okay in my book. <laughs> I just said a dirty word when I wanted to say sheet. So baking sheet, I just didn't put the E at the right place. Okay. <laughs> so we are, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So this one, I'm going to do the classic six. Um, hello, Coco. I'm so proud. Turkey. I visited Turkey. I loved it. People were so nice. So nice. So nice. Why are you guys not allowed to eat pork? Uh, because it's a commandment in the Torah or in the Bible or the Old Testament, however you want to call it. Um, it says that there are animals that are unclean or unfit, and you have any animal that does not chew its cud and have a split hoof is not considered kosher. So anything like a horse is not kosher, rhinoceros, um, rabbit also would not be considered kosher, um, but anything like a, a lamb or, or um, cow or anything like that would. <laughs> I won't tell your boss, that's for sure. <laughs> Here we go. Beautiful. Very good. I love how you're talking to each other in the chat. Thank you for that. And if you ever wondered where I traveled, I did Africa, Asia, America, Central America, South America, Europe, East Europe. I didn't go to Australia. So if somebody wants to invite me in Australia, I'll go. <laughs> There's a beautiful community there. And I didn't do South Africa also. They have a beautiful community there as well. No rhino burgers, Astro. Nope. <laughs> Absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, a giraffe is kosher. It is true. Nobody would eat it because, you know, who would want to go and I don't think that there's a market for giraffe in, in all honesty. And I would certainly not be the first one to want to eat that. But you are right. It is kosher. Ah, Sarah, it's really amazing to hear that you visit. Yes, I did. Which city have you been in? I don't know whether you know, but two weeks ago, we had two big earth. Yes, I know my heart goes for you guys in Turkey. I saw the images and I saw places where I went uh, because usually when I go to a country, I like to travel and really be with the people. And I know my experience is so limited and has nothing to do with living as a person from the country. but. Um, it broke my heart, really. I saw everything and oof, I'm sorry. Have you been to Scotland, Goldie? No, I have not been to Scotland. Shame on me. I, uh, I've i been to Ireland, England. Uh, I went to all the islands also, the small islands there. It is a school of healthy, except we actually want to be. <laughs> You're beautiful. Beautiful. I love Mariana. You're talking to Rifki. Amazing. So now it's going to be the six classic six braid one. And that goes with the song with uh, my daughters. I'm sure that you all remember this song by heart. You sing it every night before going to bed. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just getting <laughs> my rolling pin to just smush the top. This way they don't move. 
I know, super high tech. <laughs> Beautiful. You're so right, Lisa, absolutely. Very good. So now it's going to be a sixth grade, classic one. And it's the song that my daughter invented. So it's going to be second to the top, first in the middle. Okay. Then we go again, second to the top, first in the middle. So second to the top, first in the middle, second to the top, first in the middle. Second to the top, first in the middle. Second to the top, first in the middle. I know I'm gonna like, I have the voice of a um, a couple of a um, grenouille frog. C'est par there. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna go. So we go again. <laughs> second to the top, first in the middle. Second to the top, first in the middle. Second to the top. First in the middle, again, second to the top, first in the middle, one, two, second to the top, first in the middle, again, second to the top, first in the middle, we're ending it, so it's normal, it's going to be tight, you do your best, second to the top, first in the middle, second to the top, first in the middle, and then the, the end is, I squish it, I know, I know, there's a better way to do it. <laughs> And then I tuck it in. And this part that is squished, don't worry about it. Here and turn. And voila. Your own six strand hala. Beautiful. Cool song. Yes, I believe. <laughs> but it is, at least you remember. You remember the steps. Yes, there is a different uh, reason for the braid. The first one is um, when you braided, the first braid was three strands. So it was for Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. Some say that it's three strands for all the different groups of um, of the Israelites, meaning uh, Cohen, Levi, and, um, and Israel. So that's that. Some say it's because God, when he created Chava, or Eve, he braided her hair. So as a remembrance of creation, that's what um, some say. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So I have 10. Thank you. Yeah, les pratiques, hein? cette chanson, Christine. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. I love your story, Joyce. Yes, thank you, Jess. I'm so happy to be back. I have 10 pieces of challah left. So do you want for me to do um, two fives? Do you want for me to do a seven? What do you want for me to do? There you go, Zedji. You're going to be able to be able to do the challah now with the beautiful song, the challah song. Oh, I should have put it over there. Oops. Here we go. Sorry, sorry. Okay. I think I'm going to put it in a diagonal because it's going to become big. Okay, let me just put the oven because I didn't do that before started. starting. Started. Oh. Did it stop? Of course. No, we're good. Are we still good? Seven. Oh, you're saying seven. Seven braid. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Ay, 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 Sarah. <laughs> We're good. We're good. You know what? I I was so much in my head that I I I thought that the seven that you were putting next to your name was like an error message. <laughs> so I thought for sure it froze. Oh my goodness, shame. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta laugh. You gotta laugh, otherwise you're gonna cry. Uh, welcome back. Thank you, Luan. Thank you so much. So, 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 you've got this. You've got this, sweetheart. You're, you're, you're gonna have all the right answers for your job interview. 
because we're going to make a seven one, uh, I'm going to do like a, a my. This is really the way you should do your strands for them to be beautiful, to use the rolling pin. Thank you, Annie. <laughs> yeah, it would be good, right, Theo? I don't think that people would understand. So I'm going to make three strands, and I'm going to show you the difference. So the first one, I folded and rolled it. And this one, I'm just rolling it. So this one is with the rolling pin. As you can see, it's like really smooth and it's really an integrated dough. This is the fold one, which is also very smooth. And this is the third one. And the issue is this, all these little crevices, they're gonna fill with, they're gonna be full of air and they're gonna crack when you're gonna bake it. So at first it doesn't look like much and you're like, oh, okay, it looks pretty good. But this for sure will look better on the final product. So again, if I put them in order, whoop. so this is the, just the, I took the ball and I rolled it. So you can see all these little like creases. This is the rolled one, the one that I took, but it's much smoother. And this is the one with the rolling pin, which is going to be the best result aesthetically. The taste will be the same. beautiful. I hope everyone is keeping well. There's a lot of stuff going on in the world. A lot of craziness. Beautiful. The lovely air pockets. Absolutely. It's the air pockets that ruin the, the chala and all of a sudden you have holes everywhere. Very good. Here we go. Oh, wow. That's amazing, Astro. I didn't even realize. You know what? We would be two, we would be five, we would be 500. For me, it's every single one of you is a blessing and it's just a, a wink from God. So I take nobody for granted and I'm grateful for every single one of you. It's a beautiful journey. And I'm so grateful that I'm taking this journey or going through this journey with you guys. Rosalef. Oh, thank you, Idiot. Thank you so much. <laughs> Second to the top, first in the middle. Oh, because it seems that you have enjoyed that song. Yes, with my beautiful voice, my Oprah voice. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. <laughs> the recipe that you use posted everywhere. Yes, Sylvia, it's uh, any video that you click on on my playlist about khala, you will have the same recipe, whether for um, five pounds or for one, like for four cups of flour. Celebrating album, exactly, vegan prepper. You know that, you know what's happening. So for the seven braid, because it's, um, there's seven braid. Wow, that was deep. Um, because there's seven, ooh, oh, I'm sorry, because there are seven braids, uh, I have to make the braids a little bit longer. My mom doesn't have a perfect singing voice either, but all I remember is her singing and big, oh. You know what? I hope that my children always also feel like that, <laughs> that they don't remember how well or unwell, I should say, I was uh, I was singing, but just that I was singing all the time. And it's the cutest thing. My daughter had a play. One of our daughters, should I say, had a play yesterday and she made a little keychain and she said two things that my mother taught me. She wrote chesed. Oh, I'm like, no, I'm sorry. She She wrote how to be a good cook. And she said to say the truth. I was like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here, Vinny VD, Vinny M3. I want to make sure. No, of course not. Vinny VD Reliqui. <laughs> I was about to say Vinny VD but uh, no, of course. <laughs> 
beautiful. Yeah, it was so sweet. You know, because they do that in class, so there's no, like, I'm not, I'm not there to tell them, oh, say this, say that. It's really from them. So I taught her how to be a good cook and say the truth. I'm pretty happy about that, <laughs> you know? I really love this little primitive family. You're also absolutely, I totally agree with you, Lisa. Beautiful. So my oven, Janet, is at uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I do put it on the convect bake. And the reason is, is that my oven, thank God, has the possibility to put three racks inside. So to avoid to like flip the challah from one to the next, I just put them on the, on the, in the three racks with the, the, Okay, Sarah, convect mode. There are always haters in every chat, but not this one because, oh, <laughs> Elia, thank you. You know what? I have I have a wonderful, and I have to thank Shoshi. Shoshi is so amazing because I was, um, I needed help, obviously, to, to for all the messages and things like that. And she is such a kind soul. She agreed to help me and to um, be able to sort through all the hate comments. And you would be surprised how many Shashi is deleting in the background. And there are people that are just there to not improve the world. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so thank you, Shashi, for everything that you do. I couldn't do what you're doing and being so vigilant. And I wish you a refuah shalima. She broke her hand, guys. We have to send her love and uh, and healing thoughts and pray for her. Oh, beautiful. I do not, Josebel, speak Ladino. I speak Spanish, but I do not speak Ladino. It is not part of... Uh, I know that some Sephardi speak Ladino. We speak Spanish. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, Ellis. I also feel that way. <laughs> Beautiful. Yay, thank you for the support for Shashi. Go, Shashi! So the maximum strand I made, Hana, is actually 12. I made one Hana with 12, and that was it. Afterwards, it was... It came out beautifully, don't don't get me wrong, but it, the temperature was so off, and I had to take it in and out because the internal temperature was not optimal. So, yeah. <laughs> beautiful okay here we go seven okay so we are gonna do the second on the top first <laughs> second on the top first in the middle with the seven okay i'm telling you a lot of time you're gonna see different design but it's the same way that we braid but it's just a different number of strand and so the design will be different the same way the same technique once again gave this one with four strands this design with this lovely bubble in the middle and five strands with the same technique gave the the swoop so we're gonna do just that okie dokie we're here to improve those who are used to fashion Beautiful. Using 120 gram is a good for three braid hala. Absolutely. Beautiful. Hala with a mohawk. Yes, Kelly. Absolutely. Amen, Sam. What a beautiful, beautiful braha for Shashi. Beautiful. Let's go, Annie. Let's go seven. So we go with the same song. I'm not going to sing it because people are still deaf from the first time around. So, but it's the same thing. I'm going to sing it just at the beginning, okay? So I put once again my rolling pin at the top for it to for the strands to hold. And it doesn't matter at the end, we're gonna tuck it in. So I take one, one, two. The way I count is always one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. So I always count like this. So if I say one, two, one, two, because that's the only strands we're gonna touch, it's gonna be this one and that one. So we're gonna go with the, the song. Second to the top, first in the middle. Second to the top, first in the middle. One, two, second to the top, first in the middle. 
Oh no, did I just mess up? I think I did, didn't I? I did. Ha ha. I was thinking of Shoshi now. See, you messed up. You have this at the beginning, so all your strands are safe. You don't need to roll them out. You're all good. I like this little uh, rolling pin uh, event. Beautiful. So we go again. Second to the top. Ooh, it detached itself. No problem. I just squish it. First in the middle. So second to the top. First in the middle. One, two, second to the top. First in the middle. 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 Oops. Second to the top. First in the middle. Second to the top. First in the middle. One, two. Second to the top. First in the middle. Second to the top. First in the middle. Second to the top. First in the middle. Second to the top. First to the middle. And again, oh, I'm going to try to push it. Ooh, sorry. So second to the top, first in the middle. And now I'm going to just, just cut the end. Why? Because it's going to be so tight that it won't look pretty. And already this, I tucked it too hard. I mean, tugged it, tugged at it too hard. And voila, this is the sixth one. And when you have, like, it's not exactly in the middle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath and I'm going to pull out the braid for them to be in or out to try to fix what I've done wrong. So see here, it was a bit lopsided. So I'm going to go underneath, pull the strands to make it in the middle as much as possible. I hope that it made sense. Again, you pull where you need to, to put the central braid in the middle. See, and here I have a bubble of air. It's because I didn't, you remember the first one that I didn't press down? This is the, this is the one. So I just take here, I push it down and nobody's gonna be seeing that. Oh, thank you, lightning bug. Thank you to be here. See, it's lopsided again because I played with it. So I'm just, I pull out the strands to put it back in the middle. And voila, you have it. Ah, Nathalie, merci. I hope that it helps that you were able to learn a few things today. I'm so happy that we're back together. That's it for me today. I have to go back to work. I took a bit more time but I wanted to finish that. So I hope that everybody had a lot of fun. I know that I had a lot of fun. I will post the pictures of the khala once that uh, they are baked. And uh, if you were asking yourself what topping I'm gonna put today, mm, good question. I think that I'm gonna go like super simple with, uh, with yeah, I'm gonna go with, uh, just sesame seeds for today, I think. And maybe some, um, how's it called? Graines de tournesol, sunflower seeds. I think I'm gonna do both. Very good. Well, thank you so, so much for everybody to have been here. It means the world to me. You know it, you know it. And I have to, oh, I have three more. If you have any questions before, like I'm gonna do just the quick three, this way they're done. Thank you for everybody, for the one who are celebrating Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. May the rest of your week be smooth, filled with love.